first update on Invest 92S, which is likely to become the next tropical cyclone in the southwest Indian Ocean, along with Kenanga to the east. It's at 11.1 degrees south, 60.8 degrees east right now at 4 a.m. Mauritius time, December 19th. Uh, the storm is likely to develop over the next 24 to 48 hours, probably sooner than that. 30 miles an hour right now, as stated there. Uh, and as you can see, the storm's location in the middle of the ocean at this time, but could go on to affect those islands in the next few days. 282 miles from Agalega, 383 from St. Brandon, 585 from Tromelie in the very small island to the southwest there, and 661 miles from the Mauritius capital, Port Louis. Uh, so those distances will be ticking down over the next few days. No warnings in effect as it stands. But what we're looking at on the models is something quite concerning and we may well see warnings spring into effect as we get towards the late part of this week or by the very latest the weekend. But I imagine a storm will be already upon us by then. Here's what we're expecting over the next few days. You can see both cyclones in the southwest Indian Ocean on this graphic. Um, the one that we're looking at tonight on this update is, of course, the foremost one to the west. And you can see it developing there through the weekend, uh, still not reaching the main islands Mauritius and Reunion until the end of the weekend according to the GFS model at least and then pushing down towards the southeast passing just east of Mauritius so it'd be a bit of a side swipe if the GFS model is to be believed now some models do say different things including a possible direct passage over Mauritius so this is something that we'll be watching over the next few days sea surface temperatures very warm 27 degrees or so uh, could be a little bit warmer than that but 27 is still more than enough for for a sustained tropical cyclone development. Uh, so you can see again both systems here, the new one forming, you can see the green areas there, tropical storm force winds, that's gale force in the green there, and you can see the storm developing getting to hurricane force by the weekend so those yellows that just start to peer out there uh, by sunday into monday hurricane force winds there uh, the gfs is a little bit light compared to other models some of them taking it much stronger than that uh, but you can see the eventual path towards the southeast away from harm's way by the middle of next week chance of tropical storm force winds in the next five days look like this uh, rough percentages only because we don't have enough information yet but around 40 percent chance in the next five days for some of those locations percentages will creep up as we get to know better the expected track of the storm here is a potential worst case scenario that we're looking at from the hwrf model this predicting a high-end Category 3 storm on the Sapphire Simpson scale, a very intense cyclone um, by Southwest Indian Ocean standards, and that could cause serious issues if that was to occur. Uh, that is just one run from one model. Of course, the GFS that you just saw before has a much more um, sedate scenario and uh, a much more clearer path for Mauritius, but that one is a pretty bad run from the HWRF. Uh, in real terms, then, this is the satellite imagery. What's it been looking like in the last 12 hours or so? You can see a rather small influence of this system, but it is starting to wrap itself around. Uh, 30 miles an hour at present could be on its way to 35 now, not too far from tropical storm status. I expect we will see tropical storm status occur by uh, the daylight hours of today uh, and of course it will get its name by then as well um, not much movement from the storm at the minute but we will expect that it will be starting to move a bit further towards the south pretty soon you can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo a Cyclo Maurice on Facebook. <laughs>